So for the third time this season, Prenton Park rises to greet Tranmere Rovers stepping out into a rather wet and windy evening on the Wirral. Jackins side are hoping to make it four games without conceding this season against an Everton team hungry to make a name for themselves. The main man in the dugout, Nigel Atkins. Back at Tranmere Rovers now. They're trying to plot a bit of an upset this evening. Wonderful ball in behind and it picks out Saunders. And Saunders picks his head up across the face of goal. And there is the opener. Quick as a flash. And Josh Davison gets his first goal for Tranmere Rovers. Clinical. That's how quickly you can get picked off. The ball into Saunders in behind was absolutely perfect. And then he picked his head up, checked his surroundings, saw Davison making the run to the far post. Solomon, first time. It's a loose pass and it's given straight to Beto. And Beto can bear down on goal. And Beto forces the save too. Almost a nightmare moment. Sol Solomon, you can see his reaction straight to the feet of the Everton centre forwards. Dixon. Now Metcalf, and you just feel that Everton have begun to grow into this game in the last five minutes or so. Here's Whitaker. Metcalf brought down. Everton free kick. It would take some effort to score from here. It is Lindstrom. And very nearly does so. Well, that would have been some way to announce yourself in Royal Blue. Risky one, almost fell for Davison. Now Okoronko, and into the path of Beto. And this time the flag stays down, and Beto is in. And out comes the goalkeeper. Beto again, the acrobatic effort this time. Unable to find the breakthrough. And that is a wasted opportunity. Okoronko did so well to sense that Beto was making the run. That first touch. If it had just taken him inside, he would have been able to shape that with his right foot instead. He was having to run around the ball on his approach. And that's a loose back pass and Davison racing in. And recovering was Campbell. Davison, head in his hands. He knew how close he was to a second goal there. Whipped in by Solomon towards the near post. Did that cross the line? Referee says no and blows for half time. Solomon's ball in. And then comes off Campbell on the line. I wonder whether that crossed the line. Three opportunities on target apiece. Bit to breach the resistance of Joe Murphy. Can they do so here? Okoronko. Wins the ball back. Okoronko. Straight at the goalkeeper. And Joe Murphy gratefully gathers that to his chest. Will they be made to rue that error? Beto, 
into Sharif. Saved by the goalkeeper. In a completely different area of the pitch. There's one back here, and Metcalf. And Metcalf goes alone. Tipped over the crossbar by Murphy. Metcalf inches away, playing their way into trouble. And Metcalf saw the space open up, and why not go for goal? Into the final 15 minutes. Everton looking for a route back into this one. Tranmere looking for a second goal to put the result. Here's a chance for Dennis. Beaten away. Dennis in acres of space in the penalty area. Let fly, tight angle. Made the goalkeeper work, and that's all he can ask. <laughs> Sharif looking to lay it off for Beto. Needs support. Finds it in Butterfield. Now Metcalf. Clipped across, nodded across the face, and Sharif! Straight at the goalkeeper. What an opportunity this was. Neat turn, and in behind, looking for Beto! And there is the equaliser. Chance after chance after chance. It wouldn't fall for him, but Beto kept getting in those positions, and in the end, he has his goal. And the senior player brings the 21s level. Now Sheriff. Sheriff again. Shots blocked. Beto can't get his foot to it. Sheriff can. And Sheriff strikes! The inside of the post denies Everton a dramatic win. They are so close to completing the turnaround. Beto finds the width, and here's Lindstrom, and Lindstrom looking for Beto! A flash of brilliance from Beto, and Everton have turned it around at the death. Well, form may be temporary, but class is permanent. Beto is reminding everybody of his quality, and this is a fantastic finish. In comes the long throw, flicked on, headed away. Back in by Norman. Appeals for handball. Big appeals for handball, and Tranmere can't believe they haven't been awarded a penalty. More late drama. Well, still the appeals continue. Nodded back in and it's here. Jumping highest, it does strike the hand of Luke Butterfield. There goes Beto again. He's on a hat-trick, remember. Couldn't blame him for going alone. And go alone he does. It's in the back of the net. Who got the final touch remains to be seen, peeling away to celebrate. Here's Martin Sheriff. But the crucial piece of information is that Everton have three. They have three goals on the night. They have three points on the night in a remarkable turnaround. The late, late show for Everton. And there goes the final whistle. And Everton have pulled it out of the bag as they look to be succumbing. 
to a tight and tense defeat. Suddenly in the final 10 minutes, an explosion of quality led by Beto. It finishes after late, late drama. Tranmere Rovers 1, Everton's under-21s 3.